And the gentleman uh, is no good, I believe, uh, from France and gentleman from Belgium. And our diehard Ulti subscriber fans will be all over our YouTube channel in the comments correcting me if that is not the case. So gentle uh, came very close to beating Cusp earlier today, as, uh, which was also streamed going down by one point after the time cap and uh, is no good went down earlier again very close game losing to uh, fabulous angels burn again 12 11 so both of these teams losing in a 12 11 game to their opponents earlier on and both of these teams as we see Stefanava there. Coaching is no good. That's uh, just the team name, not a reflection of his coaching. And Gentle are going to be starting on O. Not many options downfield. Having to go back for a dump swing there. Isn't it good so far? Doing pretty well, shutting off any downfield options. Sweeping past to get space to the side. Really trapping them hard up towards the end zone. Just now starting to get some space. As we see De Stoop there doing some big fakes, but nothing non downfield for him to throw to. He's no good putting on this strong pressure. As we see the bit of movement, a bit of give and go there. Looking to squeeze it into space. Just pops it up, but a great backup there. As we see Toby De Crane, and apologies for my very Australian pronunciation of your names, but I will try to be as close to what I think is accurate there. And you see that replay. Nothing on, too many options, waiting for a beautiful pass there, the hand, the cutting in. And you might also be able to hear quite uh, close to the stream French people which could be the teams that could also be I'm hoping French commentators because we were trying to uh, diversify and get a few other languages involved with our commentary so hopefully over this weekend that will be something we can sort out there and Steph there waving working the camera he knows what to do he was early Earlier on in a break, was able to do a commentary for us, one of our experienced commentators, commentators here at OTTV. As is no good now on the offense. Pushing it out and the player not taking his feet, just pushing the pass through. Well, one on one competition and a great read and strong hands there with the one hand to take. Oh, 
as uh, Kala there, number 59 for Isnagood, getting that score. Scores back to level, one all. And uh, both teams coming out hard early. Probably a little bit more defensive pressure uh, from Isna Good on that first point, making the gentle side work for it a lot more. So they're starting to look quite fast there. So fast they can almost not keep their feet, as we see in that replay. And a beautiful long pass there, just arcing back in into the hands of Pala. trying out a few different defensive lines. As mentioned in probably a few of the earlier streams this weekend at the Basel Open, a few of these teams, quite a lot of these teams, will be trying to use this as practice of high-level competition for the Euro Championships. And much awaited after, obviously, what has been a difficult time for everyone globally as we try to adapt to life as we can with less restrictions. And a beautiful deep pool. I think possibly a little bit too deep. Let's just see there. I don't think so. He's just going to bring it up. I didn't see the brick signal, but I may well have missed it. Looks like they are going to brick that. Okay, so now just waiting for a pick call down the field. Players going back as required before the call was made. Just checking that all the players are now in position. Establishing the count, which by the fingers looks like it's coming in on still count three or trois as the French would say. Forcing it back for that dump there. Squeezing it out into space. Again, cutting down those options online. Isn't good doing some really good defensive pressure. And Gentle having to work hard to get the space as we see there. A little bit of scuba. And the right of the reply there, bringing the scores two to one in Gentle's favour. A few chances there for an interception, but isn't it good just putting pressure on the player? Not trying for any fancy bids or unnecessary dives. And Gentle able to capitalise on that. Still early days, only 2-1. So I'm sure as the game progresses and time passes that the intensity will also increase and players may be forced to cut off those floating passes that were able to get through there. So gentle D-line coming up. Gentle there, forcing. Great pressure there on the desk. There is no passes down the line, really forcing that line. Don't want any breaks, I just see one there sweeping across. Intense one on one competitions. Down the field, slides under the feet but still catches it, but there was a call made.
So just in our discussion about whether that disc was up as well. It looks like the player slid underneath and caught the disc. So just having a discussion from the perspectives. It's not going to be resolved. It will go back to the thrower. So just asking for some other perspectives. It looks like it's just going to be reset. They couldn't come to consensus there. So a new one there with the disc that is no good. Kicks being called, it is very congested down there with lots of college competitions. And uh, when that happens, it is likely that their space is going to be run into and you're going to be stopped from being able to move. Looks like I think a bit of an accidental leg touch as they were running past or running forward. And a turn there right on the corner of the end zone. I think that is, yes, that's new and again. From Is No Good trapping it on the sideline. And a big high floating pass just out of reach for the player, which is a dangerous position for Is No Good to be able to get that score. And number 47, Mario Cantu. High pass there, just out of reach. See what was already a close contest there in terms of space. They weren't really able to run onto the disc as soon as it was dropped. Turnover was able to be capitalised on. So scores back to all. of our streaming is being done now so switch across and hear that you just see bookends there from gentle bring the scores up to three to two on the first breaks Okay, and we are here, gentlemen. Three versus is no good from France. On two has been a very close game. Both teams electing to play match D at the moment. Is no good. Just uh, now is three all. Has shown early promise with quick conversions and looking out over any turnovers, quickly capitalising on those. But Gentle did just score the last two points and pressure there on that player forced the turn. Just couldn't get a read on it. And Gentle will now bring the disc in. Oh, 
And there's no get again. Putting on that pressure I was speaking about earlier. Really hard on the disc. No downfield options. Close contest there on the disc. No call made. It was all disc and all D as we see now. Again, number 24, who I have seen, mentioned earlier, is new in there. Big playmaker already showing himself as one to watch. He's an important player to the team. The big floating pass there. Probably not the right choice in the conditions. Trying to get space, but unfortunately, the player stationary underneath, not able to outbid his opponent. Gentle trying again. Picks called again. The story of this game so far has been really close contests and a lot of limited traffic and options downfield, which has led to a lot of picks being called. It is nice to see a few familiar faces from around the ultimate community, in, especially in Europe, that I haven't seen for a few years now. And back on the field. And this is as good as I can get at the moment. And I will take it. And a big put down. Not into space really, but a great read. Unfortunate for the Isma good defenders. Not in a great position to do anything else against that. And you can hear the cheer go up from the gentle side there as Willems, or Willems, depending on your pronunciation, uh, gets the goal there. Pressure was on from number 59, but a great down the line pass. Floated up perfectly and a great read. Is the good defenders not able to do much about that? So both teams taking their uh, full amount of time there at the change of ends of the scores to really set up and establish their strategies and plays. Gentle with the disc doing a pull down to the Isna good offensive line, which will probably again contain a couple of those strong handlers that we've seen already making names to so again that is Nguyen who I just spoke about earlier and a beautiful long throw downfield is no good after a couple of throws able to convert to a score And what looks to be a couple of the brothers on the gentle side, which sometimes is a really good dynamic. And a lot of similar traits also with players that tend to come from the same family. There's quite a few uh, legacy connections as well in the ultimate community. Looks like Steph's calling for a lot of chat from the sidelines so they may bring out a zone most of the D so far in this game has just been match D and they are only one point up but as we said it is the, probably the best time to try something new when the score is close
And for those who speak French and would like to listen to commentary in French, we have a second stream of this game with French commentators who are live at the field. And great foot into space there from Gentle. So they may well come through and uh, review that D. There was a new D tried there by Is No Good. It was uh, quickly overpowered by the Gentle squad who are now leading five to three. But the scoreline is not reflective of how close it has been so far. Very strong performance by Is No Good. You were just trying a few different combinations and Gentle definitely taking advantage of anything that they can find to get the scores. How you doing, Elshak? I just thought I'd jump in and say good day. It's Mike here. Someone to keep you company. There is no players there on the offensive line. Still having a chat about what's going to happen and uh, what they'd like to try. We'll see what happens and where the pull comes in. Because that could well limit their options. That is a lovely deep pull there. And Gentle running down quickly, putting pressure on early. And a great grab. Nice and high legs, jumping up. Again, sticking with Match D from Gentle here. Oh, and a great bid. Intercepts that disc. Number 50 there from Gentle. Huge height there. And a strong player. Again, that's De Crane, who I've seen before. He was involved in a big play earlier. And that's probably the one of the biggest Bs we've seen so far in terms of layout bids or anything other than just strong pressure there. Bit of an accidental collision. So just stopping play while just gathers himself. Gentle taking advantage there. Just uh, jumping in again, Elshak, can you hear me? Big shout out to Milan and Lolo who are out there uh, punching this production out. Driving down from Amsterdam. So timeout being called here.
Nice deep pull there. Big pressure on the disc now from Gentle. They were a little bit reserved earlier on, but now they've got that lead. They are looking to just extend that. You just see a turnover now for Gentle. That pressure paying off. A big huck. But it's to a two on one competition, which is going to be very difficult. I'm always a and fan gentle. of like running on with the frisbee, not jumping for it. Like so many people miss sweet it, and if you just kept running out the pack, pick up the straps. All right, and I am joined by Mike Palmer, the uh, creator of OTTV, <laughs> fellow Australian, who I believe I don't know maybe is in Australia, like yeah, me. In, I suspect so. Ah, uh, well, commiserations. Last day of my two-week isolation. Ah, well, I dared enjoy. to go to Victoria, and then they would nearly didn't let me back in. <laughs> That's right. It is all fun and games over here in Australia, which is quite a big place, and we basically have now created our own little countries within the one country with our own little borders, etc. So it's all something that's very different to our normal life with that kind of restriction, but. Uh, so far, so good in terms of our numbers, anyway. Yeah, we're pretty lucky considering. Yes, very much so. As we see now, Gentle, we have started to just step it up a gear or drop down a gear, whatever the expression is, when you uh, go better. I'm not really a car person, obviously. Push the gas down, I guess. <laughs> That's right. Oh, what a beautiful downline pass. But to no one in particular with that oh. continuation. Oh, it was right there too, wasn't it? Just, <laughs> just trying to put a little bit too much touch on there. And it just, uh, <sighs> it doesn't look very windy. Like, it should be like playing indoors. That, yeah, I think. I think he was throwing it to number 41. And number 41 thought he was throwing it in the end zone and he stopped. But I reckon he could have probably come across and taken that. That's right. And I. Again, almost all. Oh. And again, that is that pressure that we were speaking about earlier with Gentle. Just, oh, cheeky there. Very cheeky. No one's going to call that in. That one, on the other hand, we can have. Oh, gentlemen, take another one. 7 3. Uh, Steph Rapazzo, oh, Steph, get your do. head up, Steph. Get up. <laughs> Chin up, boy. I remember when I first um, when I first uh, worked with Steph, he'd come in and like he'd play all weekend, and then he'd do the final, and he'd been yelling at his team all weekend. So when he got to the final, he had this raspy voice, and um, then I, I remember we sent a camera somewhere where he wasn't playing, and when he commentated, he just sounded normal, and I, I didn't even recognise his voice. <laughs> I've actually only ever heard it raspy, so now I'm. <laughs> Now I'm going to have to go and watch the earlier game that he covered for us. I think they were sitting on the roof in Brisbane covering like a BPL final in maybe <laughs> 2011, 2012. That's a world away now. I know. So I think... That's half, 7-3. Half, yep. Mm. So 7-3 and uh, it's no good. I actually thought they started off looking stronger, but perhaps Gentle was just holding back until it... Uh, until they were getting used to each other's games because all of a sudden, Is No Good is looking much like their name. No good. <laughs> ha, good one. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. And uh, of course, a reminder that you can become a patron. Is that how I'm saying it, Mike? Or Patreon? I'm confused by the spelling of OTTV. And. Uh, you can be a subscriber, obviously, to the Ultimate Channel, but in order for OTTV to continue to provide coverage 
of these don't, events. I don't love the word Patreon. It's a bit, I don't know. I just, it's like a membership thing. Really. Thank us money. you. You send us money, we, we send our ultimate stream for people to watch. So. There you go. Straight That's from the, the horse's mouth, people. Um, it's so a pretty out, cheap deal. Yeah, so it costs about three euros a minute to produce ultimate if you calculate all the equipment uh people like food accommodation transport moving the gear around all this sort of stuff so um if we can get it everyone who uh was subscribing to fan seat when that was around jumped on board with us then we could just do it for free and everyone could watch it it'd be great so uh, hopefully we can uh, get that cranking that's right and of course mike and i giving up our own time here it, it's uh it's not getting into the wee hours yet, so I'm very happy about the uh, time difference between here and Basel. And uh, obviously, I am such a party animal that this is how I am spending my Saturday night. <laughs> and yep. more than happy to, even if I had social plans oh, at some point, I would always say. <laughs> I might get a beer out of the fridge in a minute. I should have done that. I'm, I'm on the cup of tea. It's a bit chilly here, actually, tonight, which is very unlike Perth. I don't know what to do. Oh, wow. I know. Well, you've got the, the footy finals happening over there. That's all right. We have the, the uh, grand final of the uh, Australian Aussie Rules final for the men's division. Yeah, usually at the oh, Melbourne football ground, up, but uh, Melbourne and Victoria is all he's shut down. So. That's right. Because of the uh, outbreaks on the East Coast, they've come over to the best coast as uh, time is resumed here for the second half. Gentle. So you're in a great time zone for this then, Elshak. Yeah, six hours. I'm, I'm not excellent. minding it as well. It's one of my easiest friends to keep in touch with are the Swiss ones because it's not too bad. Yeah, I've I been doing, some, to... <laughs> doing a fair bit of like nighttime work when all the European people are talking to me about logistics of the upcoming events and stuff like that. Um, so my time zones kind of move later and later and later. So I'm dreading the day where I actually need to get up in the morning early. <laughs> That's right, with a real job. Yep. I oh, know, right? So thankfully, we are able to bring you this via the impressive power of technology and the internet. We are currently streaming both in English and also on a different stream in French with two French speakers. They sound cool, actually. It's uh, a good language for commentary, I think. They sound très cool, as they would say. <laughs> très cool. They would. <laughs> Yeah, I did French for a few years and it is that good. <laughs> ah, bonjour. <laughs> yep. Uh, we, should have just, we should just switch over because we have got it covered. <laughs> uh, je voudrais Mike. un café au lait, s'il vous plaît. That's right. Je voudrais un croissant. There we go. That's so all I, I need to know. When I was in Royanne, I got in really late and I missed the food cutoff. I oh, was no. walking along the beach trying to find food and all the restaurants had closed by the time I got there. And the only place was open was a waffle house. And I was asking for a waffle. So I'm like, you would yeah. say waffle, right? Waffle, yeah. And all I wanted them to do is to put chocolate sauce on the waffle, right? And yeah, what'd you get? This poor lady has no idea what I'm saying. So she went and got the manager. Oh, the manager's no. like, I don't speak English. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to back her. Eventually, like with enough pointing and juve draying, I got a, um, I got chocolate sauce on my waffle. Not really great. Dinner. All right, and there is a link to the French commentary stream in the comments of this stream. Oh, that's a good idea. I should have done that. Oh, well, too late. That's all right. Shout out to Rachel from Czechoslovakia. Ah, Or the Czech Republic, as it is now. Sorry, yeah, that was we're a, get a old school name. I have to get a Czech, uh, Czech stream going. There Yay! they are, the French commentators. Doing a sterling job. I think this is their first gig and they are smashing it from all the counts. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool. I could switch some over into this stream actually with the oh, that's, technology. Let's not go crazy with the technology. I I barely worked out how to turn off my own video, so uh, <laughs> actually, I'm not I, sure I, I can without doing some pretty serious. I don't have your back on any technology right here. Gentle now with the disc, still working over. Nothing much has changed in terms of the score since the half. But a lot of possession. Oh, almost there, an interception. All right, let's do it. Let's put some French in here. Okay, due to law. En bas qui est flottante et qui est catché. 
par Gentle qui reprend les commandes de ce match après la mi-temps 8 à 3. Je pense que ça marche. Nous pouvons pas être capables de l'écouter, mais je pense qu'ils l'ont fait. Ok. Vous pouvez juste entendre un snippet de French. Un snippet de Gentle qui font mieux à chaque fois. Euh, on le comprend. Et c'est donc un nouveau point. Euh... Oui, oui, difficile, difficile, difficile. Hein. He's no good, c'était son point d'attaque. C'était une première euh, opportunité pour rattraper. Donc euh, encore un break de la part de Gentle qui met maintenant 8 à 3. C'est dur, c'est dur. Je suis capable de traduire, c'est 8 à 3. Et ils ont aussi dit que la défense n'était pas bonne et qu'il y avait trop de l'attaque. Ah, oh, wow, c'est vraiment cool. Je suis vraiment super impressionné avec mes limitations de français. Je n'ai rien de ça. Mais c'était ça, s'il vous plaît, ne me traduisez pas tout le jeu. Il y a un AV+. 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 Il y a
it's time for some uh, some check commentary. I think that'd be That's great. That's right. Check yourself before you wreck and, yourself. Uh, it could be she, its own personal channel. <laughs> she probably needs to uh, find someone else to, to oh, call Ted. the uh, XEUCF final. In, yeah, uh, Ted Mario. commentated with uh, um, us at Royan. He's another. Oh, really? Yeah, he's uh, from Prague. Oh, nice. So he was unavailable this weekend. I did try to recruit him. Mm-hmm. I saw there were a few gaps. But uh, he was unfortunately busy. But, uh, yeah, we could get Czech, I think. Definitely oh. some Italians have been keen and uh, have had some practice. I definitely want some Italian commentary. That'd be great. Yeah, That's gotta, an excellent we... pull. Yeah, a bit, bit strong there on the uh, disc. A bit too close, as you can see. That's uh, new in number 24 from Isna Good. A discussion about... Uh, <laughs> you push me, I push you. That's right. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. I'm sure that was it there. Put it to the left. <laughs> and uh, uh, disc is probably coming back in on I zero. I feel like a bit of a chat. That's all good. That's why we love the game. That's right. The beautiful self-umpired yeah, game. A bit of a, a Gent zone. Yeah, I think Gentism this is zone. probably the first time we've seen zone from Gentle. See how well is no good being trained. Oh, they are in the danger zone of Callahan here. Someone needs to be looking in this crossfield space. There's no wind today. You should be throwing hammers over the top of this stuff. Like They're just working it from one side of their end zone to the other. Too many short passes. Makes me nervous. <laughs> it's making me nervous. Oh, and there's just nothing downfield. They're just not spinning them at the back here. Like the... Yeah. They're not Stop working those pistons side to side on the wings. They've got There nothing. we go. That's one hammer. And they're still not out of the end zone. Oh, that's nice. Oh, finally yeah, out of there. And I can relax oh, again. Oh, that little dumb one, good. that's not as safe as they thought it was. <laughs> this is a good zone. I, uh, it's effective. Yeah. Have it gone, man. That's a pretty good trench. That's all right. Nothing down Let's the line. Don't give no it goes. Remember what they were doing. Pretty good switching there. Oh, a big diving oh, feed. Oh, awesome. and another one. Yeah, that's close. Pinned on the line and oh, oh all of a sudden. There you go. We managed to get it out to number 59 there. We should have actually switched to a French call for the Isno point, really, shouldn't we? Oh, pal- I know. Well, next time. Next time, time out for Puzzo. Oh, then time out called, and we've got on, mm, five. about Six eighteen five. minutes left of the of the game time. Not sure if that's when I'd call a time out. I think you kind of need a like what? roll if you scored, if you're down. But yeah, you I want to try you, and keep going. Yeah, by yeah. By the same token, you also really need the next point because. Uh, Nine's a long way from five with uh, 20 minutes to go. That's true. Would you say that nine's a long way from five, that it actually changes depending on the time? Because <laughs> as well, a you... maths teacher, I would say... We can go the long way consistent. and the short way, right? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, like go around the world or fly direct. Okay, got you. For me, nine to five would be, what would that be, 18 hours? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I try and think in 24 hour time, so. Oh, okay, not, well, there you it go. It would be 9 to 1700. Well, that was a good gash there. That good was gash. very strong hands. Got a great pressure there from number three from Gentle. And, and that was after that other earlier bid from his really teammate. A nice little bit of edge, just pops it down. Beautiful Swiss background sailing past. So Isno Kid has had some strong D earlier in the game that Gentle, I think, has become used to it. So it'd be interesting to see if Steph's now, with that timeout, decided to bring out something fresh and funky. Or if you'll go so, old school. I'm a bit like a goldfish when I watch Ultimate because I kind of like watch it looking at the tech and all the camera angles and I actually don't comprehend what's actually happening in the game very often. <laughs> so I assume that the gentleman have been hucking it and uh, getting over the top. Yeah, they've just been, yeah, the first, yeah, at the moment it's just been like a quick turn as well. Like quick turn, boom, score, and just a big huck. But initially when they were trading points, 
yep. while they were still getting used to each other. It's no good if R and D was quite effective when they did their mm -hmm. match. They haven't done much zone yet, so it might be interesting to see if they try to bring something out or if they just go. I was just thinking it's zone's kind of good out of here because you kind of need a cheap a cheap turn and a score, so you need a bit of luck. Yeah. So if you can get a big hanging pull in, get right down there and do what they did, the gentlemen did then to them last point. That'll be my bet. Because you've got to kind of try something different at this stage. You've got to get it. That's right. There's, oh, and there's one of our great crew. No. Milan's not captured. Well, Milan's by the camera. Oh, I just oh, got missed that F-bomb. Wow, I just see that. Oh, Woo. missed it. So don't put the camera, Milan. <laughs> So that's not the first part of the equation we needed. We needed an inbounds pull. Yeah, that's uh. If you're going to do a timeout, time. maybe I don't think, I don't think they Doesn't expected the either. need to explain the pull should be inbounds. So that is unfortunate because uh, well, unless that... comments, Elsha. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if that's you're trying fair. to set something up, you don't really want to give them the brick opportunity. But hey, we'll see what happens. It's not over yet. No. Yeah, they do have a bit of a zone happening. Maybe not. Now they've just revised the man. A bit poachy there, yeah. Oh, oh nice. what a great yeah. interception. There we go. It was worth out having that time out. We kind of tried to fake him on the outside to go back inside, but the guy went inside and they just turned straight to him. Yeah, the old switcheroo there. <laughs> and I think that was uh, Morris Mayel. With that intercept, yeah. and they're gentle, quick with the pressure. Must score for Isno here. Yeah, having to work hard. There's hard to get free space really close to the edge of the field there. Nothing on downfield. Having to look for the dump swing on the continuation. But meanwhile, back at the ranch, pick has been called. Oh, my favourite rule. Not. <laughs> It's been called a lot today because they're just so congested. They forget. I think it's the size of a soccer field. I don't know why. They're all hanging out in that one spot. Yeah. <laughs> Challenge but here we Felix go. Shardo here. Big shout out to Felix if he's watching. Oh, yeah, the hexagon. Uh, hex master himself. Is no now getting a bit of movement. No. Lefty. Fixy too. Yeah, maybe that's going to be the cut. thing they need. Oh. Oh, oh, and he's done it. Is he calling a strip on that or a foul? No. Foul. Yeah, that was it down. Was a little, yeah, that. That was a bad throw, actually. Like he's just super telegraphed. Yes, I feel keeps walking in front of the camera space, judging by that action. Is that called a go? I mean, mm. oh, it's going to be hard that. to call. I think they might just uh, do contested because. It looks like he took it out of the uh, gentle hands. I think they've called it a goal, 9-6, big point. Oh, interesting. He, what can happen when you're going to try and catch it like that and someone bumps your shoulder, it pushes your hands out of line and then you spatter the disc like that. So if he did get contact on the yeah, shoulder. Yeah, maybe that but was... I, I believe it's not a strip, so it shouldn't be called a goal in that scenario. It should be called a foul and taken from the front Just of the Just go back from the so front. They, yeah, I would have thought so too, but... Giving it away there. We're not privy to the uh, ins and outs of these discussions. I, I don't think there was any. I don't think there's any doubt that he definitely did not have control of the disc. Yeah, they ended yeah, up I wouldn't have thought field, so, but, so. but it's, it's actually pretty bad. Like, it's just obvious they go to that corner, so the person pulls off. So when, I guess it's hard to see that because they're behind the mark in that angle. So yeah. Anyway, makes ben, the game more the interesting. Cat, and they needed that. That was that big timeout play. Six nine now within three points with. About 12 minutes left, so plenty of time. Plus, also, there's the cap. Mm, they're still and the plus with, one. Uh, still persisting with Matt on, uh, sorry, single coverage, we should say. No, uh, yeah, they got the uh, match with the um, gentle. Do get a bit more freedom to it's have the players on, running yeah. long. Yeah. It's straight... No, it's not straight match. There's yeah, more nice. position. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's the problem. You should clog the front up, but then you leave a hole in the back. Yeah. Definitely uh, gentle players had a lot more space to run into 
with that D set up from Isna Good. But now they're now they're more congested, which is more what we've been seeing before. Hoping for the big switch here. Oh, and a bit of a glint on the disc in the sunlight. Here yeah, we go. That was quite pretty. Ten six. That was. They definitely made them think in that point. They tried that something different. All the switching in the middle. Yeah, yeah. But they, unfortunately, it's just not windy enough for that over the top one. Yeah, the paces aren't open. that risky because the conditions are so pleasant. Yeah. The trees aren't even moving. Look at that. Yeah, oh, and I don't know about playing with some disc. kind of special sparkly disc. I don't know if that's legit. <laughs> How can I buy one of those? That looks yeah. cool. It does look pretty nice. Oh, you get plenty of sun over there in Perth. Yeah, it's true. I got sunburned today, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> it's pretty much winter, but I'm very pale. Yeah, yeah we're getting, we had a beautiful warm day this week, and I've been in isolation for 14 days. There's been a couple of days where I've been like, I want to go and ride my motorbike. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not allowed to. Yes, um, well done. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, I was hoping for tomorrow, but unfortunately, I think it's going to rain tomorrow. So. Uh, typical. First day right. Actually, I'm going to be free in 54 minutes. Oh, midnight, yes. But I'll be here calling the thing. <laughs> but from outside your house so the neighbours can hear it, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Just got to call El Sheck back in a sec. No worries, all right. So, oh, great pressure again. Gentle really stepping it up. New and now with the disc from Isna Good, who has been... Great big player there, patiently working across Gentle, not giving them many options downfield at all. Stall count's getting higher and the throw's coming out quite wild at times, but Newen's doing well to keep it steady. But he really has nothing to throw to. Now able to get one down the middle. And looking for the continuation there, but that is a big throw that's hanging up with the space underneath. And uh, foul's going to be called on that as the uh, gentleman player just ran through there. And it looks like uncontested. And we can see this on the replay there. Yeah, just reaching across and hitting the arm of the number 37 there. Well, is no good. And uh, mm, there you go. So the goal again called. So another, another goal for Isna Good coming from off the back of a call. Getting them now to 7-10. With eight minutes left. Shaping up to look like... A close game potentially. If he's no good, are able to get another break. But apart from that, if they're not able to hold possession and get the turn on this one, it will probably be pretty safe to say that Gentle will come away with the lead and take out the win as we see there the setup there for OT TV as well as the scoring and timekeepers from the Swiss Ultimate Volunteers or Basel Ultimate uh, Free Speed being the home club of Basel home of the Chicken Dragon or Baselix if you want to call it its real name nice strong deep pull there And again, there's been a bit of space there in the uh, alleyway. Not able to really stop many of the throws here. So that player choosing just to stay off and try and block any further throws. But uh, now as we're hearing that yell. <coughs> it looks like they've maybe switched to match D, but players were out of position. Bit of a miscommunication, but we've now got a two versus one. 
contest. And uh, players just checking themselves after that collision, which was uh, looked all incidental and eyes only for the disc and everyone was basically in their own space. And almost took it, reaching across with the left hand there, the gentleman player. So isn't it good bringing it in at the defensive end zone? Need to work it all the way up. Then Zubia with the disc. Oh, quickly finding space, but that throw was quite low. It might have been a call made coming in on zero, which is fortunate because I'd say that was on the ground. All right, I'll check that was Casper on the phone. He says hello. Hey, Boris. <laughs> Sasha. No, he's Sasha. I'm Boris. It's been so long I forgot who was who. <laughs> this is no good. Trying to get it around now. To Fenrich, working it back to the centre. Really, everyone's just hanging out in that middle, trying to get some distance. And uh, not in his house. No, he seems to have pretty good control of the end there. <laughs> Could have just caught it, but no, nah, didn't want to. Uh, it's a surprising. Did, was that his player or did he come off someone else? Uh, I think Not it was his player from memory, yeah. yeah. He didn't look free very much at all, to be honest. No. So. You'd be hoping for your long arms and long legs Ooh. to put the pressure on. There it was. Oh, it was a good, good huck in the end. Yeah. Good game. It's no good now. With the second chance. It just seemed to be a little bit off. Well, I guess they're all working, but it's given a lot of air under the disc. Yeah, there's been a few uh, just popping up and not sitting pretty. Might need to have a post-game chat with the French colleagues to see if there's a breeze starting at the field. But there's an umbrella looking pretty. There's steady, the umbrellas. Right? Yeah. Oh, just totally looking at the umbrella there. Oh. And uh, looks like. Mm, 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 yep. Cold, cold. Goals, cold. Oh, 10 eight. It's on. Well, well, well. Both of these teams have had the close games and the loss with the close games, so. Uh, They'd be definitely not wanting to go back to the sting of bitter defeat after that. And uh, you hear the call, three minutes left. How's that clock going? <laughs> All right, so we've got up next, I've got free speed versus moon catchers. Yeah, free speed and moon catchers coming up. Free speed... Uh, had the close victory. I think they were the ones that maybe beat one of these teams. Uh, no, they beat MUC, who uh, is, I think, Munich. But um, All right. I didn't write that in my notes. But they had 12-9 in the earlier game. And uh, last time I checked, they were up at half in their game that's currently on. 59 people in our stream and 35 French people in the other team. I didn't get peeps of notice of that. So. Oh, may we... <laughs> Everyone, what you should do when you're watching OT TV is open up multiple browsers and watch it more than once. Really good for the stats. <laughs> and I'd recommend just putting me on several devices because I heard myself in stereo today and I enjoyed yeah, sorry it. Sorry about that. I so, uh, no, that's cool. <laughs> I just thought everyone else was. Yep. And I, I thought, oh no, I'll just hold back. Yep. So right. just coming in so, on the brick mark. 10-8. Gentle will be hoping to just get a couple of quick scores and crush any chance of the comeback from Is No Good, but Is No Good have Ooh. stepped it up. Nice to inside. And again, they have done that little poachy uh, off the second hand laugh. Uh, sometimes doesn't look that great, but it has been effective at times, but not consistently, so... Oof. 
That's a heartbreaker, that is. <laughs> Eleven eight. Oh, no, did everything wrong when you get that throw, cross yeah. into the leading cross field hammer. That was very nice. But, uh, Lovely pass. Although, like, that's not a guaranteed throw, so you sort of a yeah. little bit of wind that you don't expect or the angle's slightly wrong. No, but well read by the gentle out, player, and unfortunately it is no good. Just could not get in the right position to stop that. So it kind of gets very manny here, like almost when they get to halfway, but that's like a... Yeah. Very, very hard to defend that. Yeah. Out of position. I do notice that, that particular defender seems to give up before the Frisbee's always is finished, though. Like, I always like, you should try and run it out because... If you're closer, it makes them think maybe you get a turn. Yeah, the you old know, like, pressure drop. Proximity. We've all done that. <laughs> yeah, but like you just, you, if, you know, who knows? He might bobble it. He, you never know with the frisbee. I'm surprised because he looks like his arms and legs are so long. Yeah. I would think he could just stand there and hit it like that far away, but coming from a short person, that's probably just how I feel. I don't know if you saw wishing that, that I was that tall. But just before the pull there, there's like a gentleman. Walking across the field, not on the field, had like five meters to get off as the pool was going oh. up, and he's like, oh, I'm not going to run. Oh, I've run enough today. <laughs> New and there with the disc. Again, yeah, he has worked hard in this game, as have several other Isma Good players, but just not able to get the points on the board. Three points of difference again. Does though look a little bit like their chemistry is not 100% yet? It's like they're, yeah. you know, a couple of months away from, I guess it's potential they haven't really trained much together the way things are. Yeah, and that's also, it definitely depends a lot on the situation in the individual countries over there yeah. as, and the restrictions in place by the government as well as the own mm -hmm. um, policies in place by the clubs as to what kind of training and... Uh, just even bonding as well, like not even on the field, just socialising in terms of gathering those relationships and the trust that you need on the field to sometimes do those passes like that. Well, that was a nice diving catch on the knees there. There's a few players open side, but not able to get over past the force. People like attacking the same space at the same time, just little stuff like that. Mm. And... Uh, but they're... They've got a lot of fast looks, like they're moving the disc quite quickly. Mm. Without that little doubt and miscommunication, they're probably going to be pretty hard to beat. Yeah, I think once they get more um, games under their belt working together, like I said, like initially I thought they, from the outset, they looked like the stronger team, but I think over over the length of the game, this gentle's wisdom as all. Ooh. Out of the sun. The sun, yep, the sun. <laughs> Got to go to the chest mark in that scenario. <laughs> it was as soon as he looked up, and I, his face lit up. I, I went, oh, no. that again on the replay because <laughs> even the bobble, like it's not just because it bounces off your hand doesn't mean you can't necessarily get the next one. I think he was so oh, blind. He couldn't even yeah. no idea where anything was. It's like serving into the sun at tennis. You throw the ball up and you hit and it like, and that's right. it. Your partner does the rest. There it is. Oh, oh nice. a massive beard in the face. That was, that was quite athletic. That was huge. I really wish that was a successful D because it looked great. But yeah. the throw. I think he was going to put it otherwise. Yeah, I, th I think he thought about that. Someone was gone. Oh, there's the B in front of the camera, distracting the camera guy there. Right. Stay focused, Lolo. <laughs> Oh, yep, that's in. Pardon me. That is oh. going to be close to call because I I, I, I would question. Well, I thought his back foot was on the ground. He was towing. I thought it was close and we'll probably have a nice replay given to us. They're probably uh, rigging it up right now. There Here we go. go. I think that's travel on the throw. Yeah, oh, they might he... call that and... Oh, no. He actually landed yep. his out foot first, I thought. What did oh, you think? No, I thought it was in. I thought his back toe went down before his right foot. He was down. dragging, but then I think he lifted and planted his front foot out of field. And if we can't decide, what hope do they have without the replay? <laughs> there you go, retracted. 
No, All right, was, there you go. Good footwork there because it looked like his front foot was going down, but then he, uh, like an NFL wide receiver, tapped it down. Oh. I want to catch those though? Jeez, the tip up the, the tip up of the hammer is a. Uh, yeah, yeah. And now all of a sudden, it's no good. Another opportunity. That was a risky D. <laughs> you did well not to fall on in there. Yeah, good. well avoided. Despite the number of picks called, I'd say it's still a very well spirited game. Not for ultimate frisbee, but it's tough when you're producing when there's a 15 minute gap between the game and it's no good like with a comeback. Oh. Yeah, it's like a game we're jumping for it when we don't have to, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Just because the other guy's jumping doesn't mean you have to jump. I know. I was, I, it was unusual. I did, I did think he was going to get it though, the defender. So probably. Yeah, may, maybe that is. He might have. He might have got his hand checked. But, yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. It was, it was. It was closer than it than it was to initially. Being like, like low level ultimate. The crumbs work like that for me all the time. And then if I ever <laughs> play a high level ultimate, the defender always gets it and I never get the crumbs. Yeah. So you're like, you don't want to train yourself too much to do that, I guess. Seven, eight. Here's no with it all to do. All right, and we are past the time. So uh, hmm. it will be a guest game to 12. So if Gentle score this, it's all over. And uh, now I've got a bit of space here. There it is. Game to 13, I hear Steph Rapazzo. Oh, is, is well, going. there we go. Uh, Thank I you. I, um, I thought the time had already happened, but I must have misread the time. Just seeing a replay of that goal there that brought it to game to 13. It's a game they're not running it out for the D. It's sort of, I guess you're, you're well beaten at that point, so. Yeah, they, yeah, I think it was just, he knew he was not even a contender in that position with that throw, so. Yeah, I would never be close enough to, for anyone to see me not running, so. <laughs> That might put them off. They might be like, what? What's that big here? Oh, All right. Free right. speed moon catches. Next. Yeah, we see free speed in the uh, background doing mm. their warm ups. I like that moon last catches. person. They're cool. I actually don't remember watching them play, but I probably will once I see their uniform. Once they, I saw them playing at Tom's tournament one time and it was like super close. I think it was like a quarter final, all on the line, and there was like a a half field huck and there was a jump ball kind of foul but the moon catchers person just stopped put his hands behind his back listened to the other person had a discussion oh, said you nice. know what actually i think my contact affected your catch and gave them the frisbee at like over halfway and then they went on and won the game and the moon catchers lost but it's just beautiful yeah, spirit yeah. That at that's universe integrity point, right there at universe point they were like you know they just treated it like any other point it was just yeah. excellent and that's the thing, it's so hard to to control um, the will. You want the one to win, but you just treat yeah. every point like it's just a point. Don't worry about the score. And just respect the rules. And that was that sounds like a great point to watch. Uh, it was really good. It was probably not your most... Oh, they're called a travel, I think. Yeah. To be fair, I've been watching these guys and they're travelling all the time. So if I was playing them, I'd be calling travel a lot. That's right. And we're lazy. jealous because we can't go over anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Just lazy footwork. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a uh, hot shoe shuffle. Yeah, I used to watch. Um, I used to watch the other teams warm up when I was playing back in the day, and you'd watch people and you'd just see people who they just travel as part of That's their just their move. Yeah, and yeah. And you just watch them and you, they do the same thing they always do and you call travel and they're like, hang on, why are you, why are you watching my feet, not the frisbee? And I got in a bit of, I was unpopular in South Australia for a little while. I was like a travel bug. Oh, bar. no. You not many people travel here anymore. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You only have to call them a few times and then they actually go, oh, wait. <laughs> well, I see not, what you're saying now. Not enough not to travel. It has to look like it's not travel. Yeah. Go the other way. So we see now, is no good trying to work it down. 
Few players deep, but not able to get anything. Oh, that is a close mark. Not a fan like it. Seems like the thrower runs across with a cross cut almost all the time, but you effectively cut off the rest of the field doing that. Yeah. This guy, see, he runs straight across. He's effectively, I guess that works. Yeah, blocking, but... yeah. So, Nguyen now with the disc again. Trying to work it back and forth with the other handler, but now the handler's gone off. Not any uh, dump option anymore. That's a great around throw. Yeah. And that was a, a good take there. Nice, strong cut. 12-9. Can we totally stuff up the schedule for the whole day? <laughs> the, is no comeback. Oh, yeah, no, I know. Imagine. Six imagine, minutes yeah. to the next game will start. So we've got to, like, change the scoreboard, change the stream. No. I guess you could just keep commentating. We'll just flick it over and switch the scoreboard. That's right. right. You, everyone just work around me as long as I know which team's coming and, and swap the roster so I get the numbers with the actual names. Yeah, you do. I don't worry about names so much. Um, my brain doesn't work with lists of numbers and things. Like, it's just not – I'm not going to quickly do that. I know. It's it's taken me a while to get just some of them memorised and that's yeah. what I need. If it was a, if it was a week long tournament like yeah, like yeah. most of the others, I'd be like, yeah, cool. Now I've got it. But uh, yeah, well, you're unfortunately, the, you're the everyone, you're seeing me on day one. You're at the hero in Cincinnati. Hearing yes, thank almost you. Almost eighty percent of our commentary, <laughs> which is pretty. That awesome. was a long week. Yeah. <laughs> and a wet week and, with crazy and storms. lightning and oh, half yeah. games and all sorts of stuff. I was always annoyed that they didn't let our commentators, I think it was Lorcan and Moza, called the first half of like the mid semi and then the game oh, got yeah. cancelled. But they didn't give them the main semi when it moved indoors for the finishing yeah. of that. I'm like, that's that's bad. Yeah, if they're already on, they anyway. should just get to finish. But anyway. We even made them a little recap of the first half of the game to play, but they didn't play it. Oh. Anyway. All right, gentle now. Looking to finish this game. And the sideline, very vocal. Try to get a big huck off, but there's no one open to receive it. Ooh. Ooh. Diving take. It. Yep, that was close. Need to work very hard to keep that disc alive. Isn't it good? Really turning up the pressure, trying to stay in it, but uh, with that quick throw. Little resets. They seem just taking their time, aren't they? Yeah. Gentle just waiting for the opportunity to present. Oh. Yep, go. All right, gentlemen, take it away. 12, 13 and 9 is no yep, sport really hard. Nine. But, uh, and coming up next on the OTTV stream will be Free Speed, the uh, home club and uh, host of the event, I think. We were going to be using their local advantage, I'm sure, against moon catchers with these beautiful conditions. All right, I might leave you with the L-Shack. Thanks for having me. No worries. Hope Thanks, it was everyone. Less boring. And, uh, yeah, these guys, we've got to reset this for the next game. So Cool. Keep watching, Tune keep in. sharing. Hit up the Patreon, become a member. Let's uh, get a lot of Ultimate streamed. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks Mike. Cheers. Bye.
We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people out ultimate community like and subscribe on TV, the best in the world become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond, beyond.